on and on and all this stuff, rewriting our history books. Right. Take education. It's pretty outrageous. It really is. Think about it, you know. And people need to understand how how critical th this election is for 2014, 2016. We got to get people fired up about taking back this country. That's what we need to do. We got to get this country back. And the only way to do that is to vote out the Democrats and these stupid liberal Republicans, liberal rhinos. Get rid of them, fire them all, throw them out of office, and this clean up this clean up house and shut the government down. We got a Cisco clip upon us, but then we also got a debt ceiling too as well. So uh, here here we go again. It's the same kind of crap, and nothing's being done about it. It's just sickening. I know it's it's a very frightening thing to look at. Uh, it's a frightening future, not only for us, but for those who have children and grandchildren, and, yeah, um, you know, you have to wonder what, what, how much more can America take? Right. The absence of God in anything. Right. Um, it's really no wonder that we have um, all these things going on, and right. no one's turning an eye as long as they're getting what they want. Now let's talk about too the economy. Right. And these, these ridiculous numbers in their polls about unemployment and it's how fake. about the massive amounts of people that are on public assistance and welfare cards. They're like credit cards, free cell phones, right. free food, free housing. Right. And they want more and more and more, and they're trying to break the middle class. Right. And how long do you think that we can, will continue to give them more? <clears throat> when they refuse to get up and work, you know, yeah. it would be so easy to, uh, for instance, take Truman's idea and load everybody that's illegal up on buses and just bus them back to Mexico. Mm -hmm. The millions and millions and millions of people here who they want to change voting laws so they can put them into the democratic system. Mm-hmm and get their votes and win office and stay exactly where they're at, you know. And for us to, to really fight and stand up is going to be a call for martial law. Right. That's where it's headed. Right. And I, I don't like that. I don't think anybody likes that. Mm -hmm. But you can't continue on and keep your head in the sand either. Right. I mean, what do we hope to accomplish by doing that? Mm -hmm. I know we said we were going to start off today talking about Eric Holder and we did. Hillary Clinton. We did. It goes so much deeper than that. Right. It just, uh, yeah, I know. It just, it, it doesn't end with the corruption we have right now with these, with the government right now. That's the problem, you know? And... And here's the thing too, you know, with uh, with Eric Holder, Clinton, the Clinton administration. Well, here we go again, round two. You fast and furious debt ceiling. I mean, uh, you already had a Hillary Care, now we got Obamacare. Now remember that Hillary, Hillary we had Hillary Care. She ran uh, for that back in uh, 1992 or 93. Well, she, she worked towards that goal. Right. While her husband was president, also. That's right. Taking uh, <clears throat> vice president's office, right? You know, relinquishing him to the back quarters, right? And don't forget too, uh, back in 1998, uh, when uh, when Anthony Weiner ran for governor, well, ran, not for governor, but he ran for state senate, Hillary and uh, Bill Clinton endorsed them. Remember that? Yes, I do. And, you know, it's just amazing how many people don't. It, it, you know, the news media. Has no, the the liberal I call it the liberal communist press now the liberal communist press that means ABC CBS NBC um, ABC uh, CNBC um, and PMS NBC is what I call them too as well PMS NBC is what I call MSNBC is PMS NBC because of you know the I I can't believe it did you know the other night Chris Matthews called uh, Ted Cruz a terrorist. 
That means this organ. That means my broadcast organization is a terrorist or terrorist run organization too. Now, can you believe this? Yeah, I mean that they're very good at name calling. They're they're very lousy at problem solving. Yeah. Um, it's pure, it's all speculation now. Right. It's all speculation now. The administration has done right to improve anything. Right. If anything, they are a destroyer of freedom and liberty and capitalism because they're a communist. Right. They have uh, no love of this country. They don't like this country. Mm -hmm. so they're going to disembowel this country. That's right. And they've proceeded to do that with our military. Every single time that somebody tries to take a stand against them, they're fired. 